Where are we at here? How nice is this place? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> 10 bucks, dude. What? <laughs> so we are um, on the SoCal trails. Uh, these are the trails I've been running on for, gosh, since I first started trail riding. I get asked all the time, oh, you live in Huntington Beach. It's so flat there. But, uh, you know, Southern California is just packed with big mountains and a lot of coastal trails. We have canyons, we have heat. I'm three hours away from uh, Mount Whitney, the tallest mountain in the lower 48, as well as uh, Death Valley, one of the hottest places on the earth. So um, this is actually a really good training ground and I'm super grateful to call it home. Today, uh, I just finished a three hour workout in the gym. The purpose of today's workout is just to work on endurance and strength. And so um, I did low weight, high rep. Double fisting this morning. <laughs> Got coffee with uh, collagen protein greens, reds, and electrolytes. And I often get asked, I thought I was supposed to do heavyweight, low rep, I thought I was supposed to do this, and you know, there's a lot of opinions about how to strength train, how to run, what order to do it in. Throughout my career, one of the things that I've always tried to do is just to try everything. You know, I'm, I don't, I'm never gonna tell someone the right or wrong way to train, but I do love sharing what I do because I, I hope to encourage other people just to carve their own path. Three hours and one minute and 34 seconds. Done. I haven't added up the reps yet, I will. There's a lot of reps. There is a storm brewing outside, but I have a run to do, but first, I'm gonna eat, change my clothes, and then we're gonna get ready to run. So lift and run today. A lot of people have been asking about my thoughts and philosophy on training, um, when to lift, when to run, and vice versa. We'll get to that in another episode, but today we're just getting the work done and this is what it looks like. While today's workout probably isn't the most conventional, uh, common way to train, it is for me. And it's a way that I've been training for a long time. For me personally, this is also what's helped me uh, stay injury free. It's what's helped me continue just to build up my mind. You know, when I go in the gym and I train for three hours, I am tired and um, I don't wanna run. So I don't do this every day, but it's a part of my, my training plan. It's always been a part of, of somewhere in the program where I'm like, okay, today we're gonna go and test the mind, we're gonna test the body, we're gonna push the envelope a little bit. You can get a lot of good dirt out here, and uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy the beautiful weather and, and the ability to move and, and work on strength and endurance. The buildup to this race is pretty similar, as far as strength training goes, is pretty similar to how I would do 100. In the off season, I run less, and then I strength train most days of the week. So it could be um, five days a week, could be six days a week. And I love my off season, because I kind of just do whatever sounds enjoyable or that, um, you know, maybe something that, like like a workout that I 
have been wanting to try, but maybe I didn't want to do it too close to a race. So I have a lot of freedom in my off season to just give myself a break from structured training. When I started the build for Cocodona, I lessened the duration of my strength training sessions. And of course was spending more time running, but all the running was aerobic base. So it was still heavily focused on getting my body strong and then doing a lot of aerobic running. As I have built into more workouts, like doing tempo runs, hill repeats, you know, spending more time doing longer runs, my strength training has evolved and I tend to get a little bit more specific. I'll have like two to three hard sessions of running a week. And those hard sessions could be a long run, it could be a hill repeat, it could be um, tempo, anything like that, like a run workout. On those days, after the run is when I will lift pretty hard too. And as far as like lifting hard, maybe it's like a longer weight session or it's um, high reps or I'm lifting heavy. And then the other days I, I'm still in the gym, but I pay more attention to like prehab exercises, body weight stuff, mobility, um, core. I think that when, when I get in the gym each day, I'm really trying to assess my body. I'm trying to find out where I'm maybe particularly weak or if I have like a lack of mobility or where I'm sore um, or if maybe my alignment is off. Now, as we are 40 days out from the race, I tend to get a little bit more specific with um, how I'm lifting. Yesterday, we did three hours in the gym. And then today, kind of the same thing. We did a little bit, we did a little bit of lifting, but we did a lot more prehab exercises, um, really paying attention to how my body is feeling. I did lighter weight, mobility. Today, I also did some dynamic stretches, a lot of running drills. And then overall, the run was, was pretty easy. So yes, my, my weight training sessions change the closer I get to a race. Now, two weeks before race day, I tend to lessen um, the duration of my weight training sessions. And then, you know, when I'm like seven days out, the only kind of strength training I'm doing is, you know, it's more like PT type exercises with a resistance band. It's, it's core, it's a lot of mobility, um, a lot of stretching. It's, it's making sure that head to toe, I'm aligned and everything feels good and strong. But the main focus is rest because I wanna have good energy. I want my muscles to be strong. I don't want them broken down for race day. And so I know a lot of people, uh, you know, are trying to figure out what works best for them. What does strength training look like um, as you build up to a race, as you put it in with a marathon or an ultra marathon. And one of the best pieces of advice is, that I can give is that just like you build up in a running program, you have to build up in your strength program too. Best way to start is just by doing body weight exercises, PT style exercises, and assessing your unique body at where you're lacking in strength, where you're in mobile, where your weaknesses are, because everyone is unique. Work at getting all of those things strong. Like you don't need big, huge weights to do that. And you can do a lot of really good work uh, with no equipment or, you know, a, a band or a ball or something like that. So that's my best like beginner advice. And yes, you are going to feel sore and really tired and have heavy legs if you combine weightlifting and a run. And even, you know, the next day the run is going to be tiring. That's a really popular question too. Again, all of that has to do with your history of lifting and the purpose of your workout. So I'm really specific about when I do those things. So let's say that you break down your training plan every 30 days or like every month, pick like two or three days where you're going to do something that's, that is really heavy lifting and, and long running. All you're doing there is preparing the mind and allowing the body to feel what it feels like um, when you're in the middle of an ultra. And I think that's important. Building overall strength, it takes time, it takes patience, discipline, and consistency, but you can do it and it's definitely worth it. All right, so tell us a little bit about your strength training philosophy. 
First and foremost, I my, my philosophy is that we are all strong. Um, apart from the physical, you know, big muscles, toned bodies, I believe our greatest strength is from within. And it's something that we can all tap into. And I think one of the biggest challenges that we have just as humans is living courageously in all that we are. Um, embracing uniquely like our one life and all the variables that make us who we are. And that takes strength to do that. So um, I love strength. I love the mental side of it, the physical side of it. And my philosophy is, is that we first need to address our weaknesses to become stronger. And when we step into a gym, and, and you know, and this is in the more literal sense, I think the most important thing is to first get strong in your own body. I want to build a body that can endure. And when I first started in ultra running, I understood that to go, you know, 50, 100 miles, you need a body that can endure that distance, that it, it, it can endure going up and down mountains. And, um, and so strength training just made sense to me. One of the things that has kept me going in my training, it isn't the pursuit of a medal or getting on top of a podium, but knowing that my training is going to affect my life and people around me. And you know, I've had the opportunity to use my strong body in so many other ways that have nothing to do with running. And I think that being able to share that with others is important because sometimes we lose our mojo, motivation, um, or just focus in training because we're so focused just on ourselves and this one goal. And sometimes as soon as we get that goal, we realize that we, we kind of feel empty or we just feel like there's something else that's missing. I've been able to use my body and its strength to help build houses in impoverished areas. I've been able to, you know, carry children when I've been helping out at orphanages. Um, my, you know, Eddie and I got to, we renovated our, our whole house up in Oregon by ourselves and we were ripping out toilets and sinks from the walls and, um, and carrying those out outside with our own two hands. I mean, it takes strength to do that. And I wanna have a body that isn't just strong to line up at a start line. I wanna be able to have a body that can help others. I wanna strengthen my arms so that I can, I can embrace others. And I really believe that it, at the root of a good and full life, it's creating a body that's gonna be useful um, far beyond athletic endeavors. And so, um, you know, as a mother, I've always loved this idea of being able to lift my kids. I can still lift my kids up. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's that, that's what keeps me going day in, day out. I love getting out for the run. I love, you know, thinking about, can I win this race? Can I get on the podium? Yeah, I'll always have that competitive side to me. But I also believe that, you know, I, I, my life is for so much more than just, uh, than just running. We are strong, we are all strong. Our, our greatest strength is from the inside and we have the choice to build it up in whatever way that, that fits our life. There isn't a perfect way to strength train, but that's the, the root of why I'm in the gym day in and day out. This is, this is my favorite person in the gym right here. This girl right here inspires me. This is why I work hard right here, every day inspiring me. You're so awesome.